Don't you hate it when you see a change go live or a hot fix or anything like that and you think, well, I know exactly what's going to happen here. It is happening, but a lot slower than I thought. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the news that went out early hours this morning or late last night, depending where you are, about emblems of heroism and the fact that you can start getting blue gems for 10, 10 emblems of heroism. That's it. So it's not a lot at all. Let me just show you the news post and then we can have a quick look at what you need to know. So last night, Emblem of Heroism vendors in Dalaran on Wrath of the Lich King Classic are now offering rare quality gems for 10 Emblems of Heroism per gem. This was likely just added as a hotfix to North America, Europe and Oceanic Realms, which I was expecting straight away that we was going to start seeing these absolutely plummet in price. Because just using my Paladin as an example, I've got a decent amount of Emblems. You know, not I'm sure there's people that have got a lot more than this, don't get me wrong. But I've got 162, so I could get 16 gems. Even the uncut Scarlet Rubies on my server at the moment are like 121 gold still. And they've been pretty much like that all day. Don't get me wrong, people probably are undercutting each other a lot because people will just be dumping all of these Emblems on this. Now, there's one little thing that no one's probably going to even talk about, but... If these start becoming really cheap, you know, talking 20, 30 gold, if you want to play the long game and you're, you're intending on playing Cata Classic, it might be worth keeping hold of your emblems instead of actually trading them in for, in for gems. If you're going to get over 100 gold per gem, absolutely do it. But again, playing the long game, when Cataclysm comes out and it changes over to points rather than emblems, all of these emblems, including all the way back to Badges of Justice from TBC, all get converted to gold. Now, I know that's a really long play, but at the end of the day, you know, if you're intending on playing Cata Classic, you might want to keep hold of them. But there was one other minor change that I just want to have a look at, and that is actually about the uh, the trinket. So it's not nothing to do with gems, don't get me wrong, but I'm fortunate enough to have Meteorite Crystal, and it's had a minor buff again. It's nothing massive to write home about, but it is really solving all of our problems as Holy Paladins going oom all the time. And I really, really hope that you see the uh, the sarcasm there or hear the sarcasm in my voice because, you know, we don't have mana problems. And I know this trinket's useful for more than just Holy Paladins, but it really is a Holy Paladin trinket. And yeah, it's gone up now. It was 60, then 65 or 66, and now 85 a stack. And a Paladin can stack it incredibly fast because with Beacon, you, you're, you're getting two stacks every single cast. It's pretty sick. But that was it, really. So my advice, if you want to take it as advice, is... Uh, Probably try and get as many Scarlet Rubies as you can and, and get them sold really quickly because these prices are going to plummet. This might, this video, in fact, might not really help the situation, but, you know, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to spread news, ruin your day, and uh, hopefully I'm doing a good job of it. So like and subscribe if I am. See you on the next one.